I'm here with Krishnan and he's won out the award for outstanding television. Um, how are you this evening? Very, very well. It's very nice, actually. I mean, when you, when you hear what the other people who've been honoured have done, uh, it's, it's very humbling and you feel very honoured to get have you, you must have won awards before, haven't you? One or two, but I mean, um, but not the, the Outstanding Achievement kind of award is the award you usually get just before you die. So. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've got a while to go yet, yeah, I hope. Have you been to the Asian Awards before? I haven't, no, this is my first time. I've been invited before, but I've never been able to make it because I've usually been away working or something like that. But and Now uh, that you've experienced it, the dinners, the awards? It. It's a great event, yeah, it's a very great, glitzy, glamorous event. It's great to recognise and honour the excellence in the Asian community, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and you know, I mean, the thing is, it's not just about the British Asian community, it's an international set of awards and people have come from far and wide uh, to be here and, and to be honoured. But it's nice to have an event that honours immigrants and the, the, the contribution of immigrants to this country because we've been through a period where immigrants have been denigrated quite a lot and it's quite nice to push things the other way. And what's next for you in terms of your career then? Uh, <laughs> There's a general election in a month, and that's all I'm thinking about right that's now. That's all you're covering so, at the moment. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I do a, a series called The Unreported World, which the clue is in the title, where we go to far-flung places, and I'll be back with a new series of that in the autumn. But at the moment, it's, it's all the news. Fabulous. Thank you so much for being here and spending some time with us. Thank you so much.